Now, uh, 1957 was a great year in my life. Uh, I started my own business. Uh, I uh, got acquainted with Foundation for Economic Education that year. But uh, in January of that year, uh, I heard uh, Earl Nightingale's uh, first recording, The Strangest Secret. May I see the hands of those who know about Earl Nightingale? All right, good. Uh, what a guy, what a guy. Uh, he cut that recording, uh, The Strangest Secret, uh, in uh, late 56. And so I'm hearing it in January of 57. Uh, I couldn't wait to get my copy, Scott. I memorized it. Now, in those days, I paid $35 for that long play recording. <laughs> well, uh, that's about $150 today. <laughs> so that was great money to spend right there. Now, the strangest secret, Earl Nightingale says, is that you become what you think about all day long. You become what you think about all day long. Well, some folks say, that can't be possible. If that were true, all men would become women. <laughs> now, you can take the most absolute of truth, and somebody will find a way to pervert the meaning of it. But no, it's absolutely true. Second, third, fourth grade, Athens, Georgia, I'm living across the road from the airport. I knew that I had to become an aviator one day. Six years later, I soloed on that field. But my point is, regardless of what your background is, if you have a desire for something, it's going to happen. If you have a desire for something, it's going to happen. So be careful what you think about. It could be bad. Yeah. We're golden achieving beings, Nightingale says. By what means are you trying to achieve your goals? So what do you really believe? That's what's at core here with this concept of uh, infinite banking.